everybody, welcome back to Baseline Farms. My name is Jade. So I just wanted to give you a nine week update on all the seedlings that I started back on January 23rd. Now, there are a few things that I would have done differently now that I, uh, now that I know. I would not have planted any beans, squash, cucumber, corn. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, early. I would not have planted those things early because they're ready to go into the ground now and the garden's not even ready. And a lot of these things like the heat, like warm weather, and um, right now it's still a little bit chilly. It's kind of cold. So I'm still putting these in and out of the trailer and um, yeah, I'm getting a low on space. Plus the tomato seedlings are getting so big. Look how big they are. They're doing so good, and then um, look at the root system. Look how good that looks. So healthy, and so, yeah, I'm gonna have to put these in four quarts because they're gonna grow, outgrow their container. Now, John did say that he's gonna be working on the garden this weekend. We did not work on it last weekend. The weather has just been so weird. And uh, yeah, I'm already getting some cucumber, like there's some of them, some of these cucumber plants, look how big they are. They're huge. So yeah, next year. I'll know that for next year. And even the peppers, I need to up pot these. They're still in their same seed starting tray. And I need to pop these out and put them in some four quarts to give them some space. Same thing with the, with the cucamelons. See, there's a little cucamelons. And um, those are doing so well, so. All of these need to be in bigger containers and I just don't have enough space. So for next year, probably not gonna plant as many tomatoes as I planted. Um, and yeah, just just not as many squash or cucumber, or, or definitely not early, or definitely not this early. So yeah, <laughs> so that's what's happening for our nine week update on these seedlings. But other than that, everything's going really well. We still have not caught the skunk. But I don't think it's living under the barn anymore. Uh, I don't smell it. And a couple days ago, I did hear the dogs barking and I did smell it outside. But I haven't smelt it since. So I don't know. I don't think it's living under the barn. Because before I could smell it. And then we got our baby chicks. So that's so exciting. Let me go and show you. Right now, we're housing the baby chicks in the trailer. And... Um, we did have them in the house for a couple days because it's they're so small. This is probably the smallest baby chicks that I have ever bought. And um, yeah, so now we've moved them out to the trailer and yeah, they should stay nice and warm out here. We're just gonna keep them in here for a few days because it's been kind of chilly outside and wait until they get just a little bit bigger before we move them into the chicken coop with the with the other ladies and when we move them in there I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in a, normally what I do with the baby chicks is I put them in a horse trough and I just fill it up with some wood shavings um, put a light in there with some food and water and they usually just hang out there until they're ready to be introduced to the flocks until they get a little bit bigger uh, so yeah so right now, they're just so cute. I try to come out here and I try to play with them. <laughs> Look how cute though it is. Oh my God, they're just so adorable. So, <laughs> who doesn't love baby chicks? These ones are gonna be so friendly. I cannot wait until they get bigger. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. So yeah, so that's what's happening on the farm. So tomorrow I'm probably gonna finish off that quilt um, and hopefully maybe plant a couple of containers because I need to take care of our containers before spring comes um, and get on that because we're gonna be starting to work on all the other containers for all the other locations, um, for all the job sites. And then John has already broken ground on the two parks that we um, are starting. So he's over there right now working on it. He's super excited. We're super excited. And uh, yeah, he did a little video. So I might um, link it onto this video or I might just add it onto the channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, 
I don't know. I have to look at the video. I haven't even seen it yet. But other than that, this is what's happening on the farm. A uh, nine-week update on the seedlings, the little baby chicks, and uh, that's pretty much it. So take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.